Yo, YouTube, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video, where, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the SOTW of PvP Cloud Minecraft Skyblock Map 4. Now, you guys might notice that this video is coming out a little late, and I am super, super sorry about that. Uh, if you guys did not know, we actually had some issues with the map the, the first couple of days. We had some issues, but, ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to announce that everything is smoothed out. We're all good, and we are here on play.pvp cloud net and because of the headaches and because of the issues we are doing some major things so on today's video yes this video that you guys are watching right now i'm giving away 10,000 clouds 2,500 clouds a piece to four people all you guys have to do to go ahead and enter the giveaway that we're doing today if you don't know what clouds are you can go ahead and spend them on the cloud shop right here you can pick up anything in here but yeah so we're giving away 2,500 clouds to four people basically 10,000 in total and if you guys want to enter the giveaway we're doing today to, for me to say sorry uh is leave a like on today's video subscribe to the youtube channel channel and then just comment your IGN down below and then in the PvP cloud discord head over to the giveaways channel and react to the uh the mega giveaway going on in there but ladies and gentlemen we are here and um as always if you guys didn't know I like to give a real quick thanks to those of you that do support the server and how we do that is we have a daily double winner so whoever's the most recent person to purchase something off the store I go ahead and give them the clouds equivalent on the server and today's daily double winner is a PC gamer 2024 so congratulations looks like you won yourself 2500 clouds you'll go ahead and have those in your account by time next time you log in and again for those of you that purchased something on the store help make the server a better place uh, i appreciate it a ton we are working so hard we got big big plans coming over the next month two months just wait guys i mean it's gonna be insane it's gonna be the best minecraft skyblock server so i do am really excited for it but we are here on pvp cloud minecraft skyblock map for ladies and gentlemen and things are a little interesting okay so if we go ahead to take a look i want to start off today's video um there's actually a whole new system so if you guys didn't know, loot boxes were a great way to go ahead and start previous maps. We've actually went ahead and added the brand new monthly keys. And the monthly keys are now like a tier above. So loot boxes are still really good. But monthly keys are just a little bit better. And you get more loot out of them. And so right now to go ahead and start off today's video, I wanted to go ahead. I want to go ahead and do one SOTW loot box. And then I also want to go ahead and do one monthly key right here. So the loot box right here. Okay, let's just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and open this. We're just going to open it right here at spawn. There's a lot of people in chat right now. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and see what we get ideally right now there's some good spawners you could get in this you could get some good starter money in here tokens i'll take whatever i could really get but here we go let's go ahead and place this bad boy right here come on give me something decent sotw loot box come on let's see what we're gonna get right now boom okay so we got like 7.5 mil i think we also got some spawners there wait which spawners did we get oh okay so we got a zoglin spawner and we got an axolotl spawner okay that was a really really good opening because if i'm not mistaken the zoglins wait yeah zoglins are like the second best spawner on the server they sell for 125 million and the mob drops of them are these crimson cherries that sell for 158 bucks okay that is a really really good opening right there and we also got the axolotls how much do those go for okay those are like the fifth best spawner those go for like 50 mil and those go ahead and drop nemesis eggs so that was a really good opening and wait we still have the monthly crate right here which we could go ahead and open let's right click this bad boy and all we have to do is just we get to pick i think eight or nine of these so let's go ahead and see real quick what we get okay let's see we got a ton of elder crate keys legendary pet boxes coins mob sword levels uh, a chat color which i could give away tokens cloud crates a feed perk and then our final item right here oh wait and we got some more wow we got a really solid amount of money and then here we go our final item we're gonna go with the first one right here let's see what we're gonna get and we got a black hole ability i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken yes this is for our harvester hoe and these black hoe abilities are so op they suck all crops up it's super op yes we are going to be using that later on in the season that was a great pull right there so that was an absolute w of an opening let me know rate this opening on a scale of one to ten down below in the comment section i'd probably give it like a, a nine out of ten it was really good i mean i'm gonna i'll take i mean i wish i got a goliath rank i could have went ahead and got given that away for you guys but overall pretty happy so we actually did get something really important here and these are these pet boxes because if you guys didn't know we have a whole new pet system here on the server that you can go ahead you can have multiple pets unlocked at the same time and so these pet boxes could be really good because we could get like money pets tokens pet coins pets all different types of pets here on the server um so let's just go ahead i'm gonna head over to the island right now oh hey what's up gucci thick but right now while we are here we have these pet boxes okay so let me go ahead i'm gonna right click okay we got a tool pet okay let's just go i'm just gonna spam open all these pets let's just see what we get okay we did get a money pet oh my gosh we got a 
legendary money pet. And this legendary money pet increases the amount of money we gain by 20% right off the rip, bro. That's insane. And if you guys didn't know, if you want to go ahead and be able to get more pet slots, um, a really simple way is in the cloud shop. If you go to the miscellaneous section right here, you can actually buy another pet slot. And so I'll go ahead and show it for example. So boom, you get that. And now you'll notice I have two slots unlocked. So I could do a money pet. And then let's say I wanted to do a combat pet, a token pet. I'd probably run the money and token pet, to be honest, that increases the amount of tokens we gain by 20%. And then also will increase the amount of money we gain by 20%. And we could level up these money and token pets while we are grinding. Um, so who knows what we're going to go ahead and get. We'll see what happens. But overall, that is a pretty awesome W. Look, I got two pets right here. It's awesome. Now, as you guys can see, we are here on our island. And bro, my island is looking absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure. I don't think he's online right now. Let me go to find who it is. I E or not. Nah, why did I say E? Elip. I, I don't know how to say that correctly. Elip. Elip uh, is building this amazing build on our island. I don't know. If, I don't believe it's fully. Com oh my gosh. Trickster just gave me 176 million tokens. Bro, what the heck? Okay, we will happily go out and use that. Yo, Trickster Goat. Thank you, man. But now that we got those tokens, that'll be really good for today's episode. But like I said right here, we do have this awesome build. I don't believe it's fully complete yet, but as you guys can see, uh, we have a lot of things being built here on the island. We're going to have some cool builds for you guys this season on top of obviously all the farms we're going to have, you know, the, the crop farms, the, the mob farms. It's going to be pretty lit. And oh, looks like a lot of my island is right here actually grinding right now. That's what we like to see. Good job, boys. Keep on grinding. And actually, that's perfect because there we go. We got Axolotl and Zoglin spawners right here. I assume, do we not have? Oh, wait, we do have Zoglins. Okay, let me go to place these boys right there. And then do we have Axolotls? I assume we do. So boom, there we go. I'm actually curious right now with our mob sword right here. Okay, wait. Oh, I also totally forgot to tell you guys uh, this season, last season and like the last previous three maps, it was basically when you killed a mob, it would kill the entire stack. This season, we actually changed it back to single stack killing. This is going to be super, super fun. And so as you guys see right here and all oh, our token pet just leveled up right there. Okay, that's what we like to see. But yeah, it's single stack killing. So that's really, really fun. Makes it so you have to really, really grind and see who's the most active grinder. Um, but bro, these are the axolotls are going to make us a ton of money. Turtles will make it. Dude, there's so many cool spawners and items on the server. Now this map, it's going to be so fun. And that kind of reminds me, if you take a look at IS top right now, we are currently IS top number nine. There's a lot more islands competing and playing. I mean, it's awesome. I just want to say real quickly, thank you guys so much. The growth, you guys are all checking out the server, enjoying it, loving it, giving us feedback. And again, I just want to say thank you guys so much because like I said, every time you guys like report even like a bug or give us some feedback, we try to improve the server. And so it does mean the absolute world to me. But if we take a look at IS top, we are currently IS top number nine. I mean, we have a pretty good island, but dude, I like IS top, like all these people on IS top are going to be very, very competitive this season, uh, especially IS top number one. If we take a look at them, uh, IS top one should be like drug tested. Basically, they are so OP. $15 billion of value already. Dude, they, they're just an absolute wagon. They do only have like one snowman spawner. I don't really know which spawners they're maxing out right now. It looks like iron golems they have a lot of. They have a lot of axolotl, witches. So who knows? Maybe we'll go ahead and mess around with the different type of spawners. But yeah, they have a ton of them right now. And even then, Trickster's Island at five built about third or like a third of theirs. Like it's going to be competitive down the stretch. We have just about a bill value right here. So we should be able to be kind of competitive, but who really knows? But yeah, over Overall, very, very happy with kind of how our island's turning out. I'm really excited to see how it like changes and progresses. I love the builds on our island. It's always so fun to see like how like it changes over a season. Like last season, we had the player builds. It's super, super cool. And that will be really, really fun and interesting. But let me go ahead. I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, we don't have any island warps. I'm pretty sure this is the only farm we currently have on our island right now. Is this this like really, really basic mob farm right here? And so we can't really, I mean, we can obviously put our sword into collect mode right here. Oh wait, I don't even have auto sell on. So yeah, let me go ahead. I mean, we could just like sit here, bro. Look at the amount. Look at because you're able to m like kill multiple mobs in a range right here. And so as you guys can see, bro, the amount of loot we are getting is just ridiculous. I mean, dude, you could probably make so much money from this mob farm, bro. It's actually kind of crazy. Let's do a quick little sell all right there. Boom, twenty one thousand bucks. And that like that is not even like that's just like a bunch of mobs like just all sitting there. We haven't even upgraded our mob sword yet. And speaking about upgrading our mob sword, I forgot that we pulled a plus ten sword level. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. And then we also got a five pickaxe levels so let me go ahead and pop that on there as well so we got some solid levels for our our omni tool so far but as you guys know i'm not really the biggest fan of uh pickaxe and mob sword at the beginning my favorite meta at the beginning is harvester hoe now the only issue is that we are currently level zero on this let me go ahead and actually hit this wheat real quick and i'm probably gonna go ahead and wait do we have like a tool oh we do have a tool pet right here honestly i don't care too much about money right now let's go ahead and do the tool pet because this will increase 
the tool XP, like how quickly we gain XP on Harvester Hope, Pickaxe, and Mob Sword. It'll go ahead and upgrade that very, very quick. And so let me just go ahead and boom, there you go. Our tool pits, tool pet is leveling up right now, but we're gonna be able to get XP a lot quicker on our Harvester Hose, our Pickaxe, our Sword. So this will make it really, really easy to go ahead and do some things. And boom, just like this, bro, this is exactly what we wanna see. So let me go ahead, let me go to auto, auto sell right here. Let me go ahead and I'm just gonna buy auto sell enchant just so we, that we have it. So I don't need to keep on collecting all these items. I'm gonna do a little sell all here because if you guys did not know, Crop farming is low-key super, super OP. I believe, where is it? Sugarcane sells for like a lot of money right now on the server. But you obviously like, we need to build like an actual proper farm on our island because right now what this is, I mean, this is basically nothing. Like th this will not be able, we need to get one of those uh, redstone minecart farms uh, to make it a lot easier. Bro, look at how quickly our tools are leveling up. That's exactly what we like to see. Oh wait, we, it looks like we have a minecart system down here. I didn't even realize we had this down here. Okay, so if you guys don't know what these systems are, these are actually like really, really OP. You basically could just like go in these things and and then like you just hold down your uh your mouse you could go ahead and do the f3t glitch or if you guys don't know what that is you press f3 and t at the same time and as you guys see it's reloading my like resource pack and right now if you guys want to take a guess as long as you're holding down your mouse button when you go ahead and do f3t i took my hand off my mouse and i can sit here and literally just afk this farm right now and so super super op i've told you guys a billion times this is what i absolutely love to do and we're in a harvester event right now so who knows we might be able to get some good harvester stuff but the reason why this is op is because right i mean right now early levels this is op because obviously as you could imagine we're gonna be able to level up our harvester hoe a lot but the big thing with it is that we could actually go ahead and get some op enchants and as you guys can tell there's a lot of op enchants right now with this um let me go ahead and i'm just gonna oh wait dude yeah we don't even get token boost to level five um so let me go ahead i'm just gonna do a little grind session now i'm trying to get my hoe to probably like level like 10 or something maybe 15 i don't really know how long it's gonna take because i would like to go ahead and we want to get xp booster on our, our hoe as well because that'll level up our hoe quicker and then if you also pair that with our tool pet right here we basically should go ahead and be able to get maxed out like these these tools very very fast so let me go ahead i'm gonna grind to level 10 real quick and by grinding level 10 real quick i mean i'm gonna go ahead and put my like minecraft basically i'm just gonna put it on my side monitor i'm gonna go ahead and i'm actually watching a brand new show i know last season i uh, you guys like you guys know i was watching the arrow great show s tier show on netflix but i just recently started smallville okay and i don't know if you guys i didn't know about smallville if you guys have not seen smallville it's probably like I might it's a very good show if you guys like Superman if you guys like superheroes check out Smallville if you guys have seen Smallville let me know down below in the comment section S tier show but yeah let me go ahead I'm gonna do a little grind session right now I'm probably gonna watch an episode of Smallville so I'll be back in like 40 minutes for me two seconds for you guys um, and we'll see kind of what level our hoe is and how much progress we made all right guys so after a little bit of grinding right there we have went ahead and uh, gotten our harvester hoe to level 18 so really solid session right there I really don't know how long I was grinding for. You know, I was watching Smallville. So, you know, what, what do you want me to say? Um, I assume we actually probably got our farming skill up. A farming skill to level two. Okay, not too bad. Uh, made some solid progress there as well. Uh, it looks like we got some tokens and stuff like that. So things are looking pretty good. Now, if we go ahead and hop out of the harvester hoe real quick. Again, the big thing right now that I want to go ahead and work on is upgrading our harvester hoe with some good enchants right now. Um, specifically like XP booster, because as you guys can imagine, uh, XP boost right here. The reason why this is OP is because this goes ahead and makes it easier to get this tool leveled up extremely extremely quick and then if you also pair it with our tool pet right now which looks like it's currently level seven and that gives us a 27 percent uh increase in the amount of to or sorry that's that was tokens if we took it take a look at tool uh we're getting tool xp 27 percent quicker i mean it's kind of clear with the harvester hoe right here i mean level 18 i feel like i really was like i was probably grinding for like 20 or 30 minutes right there not too shabby at all so pretty happy with that um we're gonna go ahead and actually for some reason i have a, a, a level five mob sword i'll happily go to take that um let's go ahead and and I'm just going to upgrade. I mean, token boost could be OP though too because we could get more tokens. You know, maybe we split it right here. Maybe I do like, maybe we'll do like 50 levels on token boost and then we'll do like the rest, I guess just max out the uh, XP booster. So now if we take a look, we got token booster 50 and XP booster 64. So we're going to be able to level up our hoe extremely, extremely quick. And the big thing about this is that we're going to be able to go ahead and get more crops sooner because obviously you need to have a certain tier. I think if we go do warp barn right now, uh, it'll go to tell us actually i believe there's like areas yeah there's other areas around here like for example okay it looks like we can actually grind potatoes right now so that's good i didn't know we could grind potatoes we can't grind pumpkins or melons quite yet i don't believe we have enough for carrots yet i might be wrong though let's find out carrots can we do carrots yet oh wait we can do carrots okay wait we can do carrots potatoes right now okay so that's good so now we know like which farms we need to get on our island right now because obviously you know we have some more crops unlocked but the big two ones which is sugarcane and nether wart um specifically sugar 
sugar cane because if you go ahead and pair that with the uh crop finder chain right here that boosts the amount of crops collected uh, that can make you a lot of money and it like will like quadruple the amount of sugar cane we earn and sugar cane obviously you get two by default so technically speaking right now a little a little secret for you guys sugar cane is actually more op than nether wart because you can hit two sugar cane at a time so that's 120 dollars where nether wart you can only get one for 89 so just a little little food for thought for you guys right there um we'll definitely be probably getting a sugar cane farm i'll be at a sugar cane farm by next episode definitely but yeah pretty solid little area right here we know we're in the barn area just trying to go ahead and level up as much as we can and this is exactly what we need to be doing right now at the moment but guys overall very very happy with how today's SOTW went we got some good money we got some tokens we got a good good path i really love the pets we got man these pets man gonna be super op and something cool that i don't know if you guys did know you could do yeah can i actually do pet fusion right here so theoretically i could take a xp pet right here that xp pet and turn it from a legendary into a mythical if i'm not mistaken so hopefully right now we only have one of money and tool hopefully we will be able to get some more of those soon so that we could go ahead and infuse those into a higher tier pet um i don't know if it keeps like the level progress or anything but that would be very very nice if we could get a higher tier pet on the server and grind that out because pets are also completely player based you cannot share them with anyone you can't like i can't give these pets to gucci thick or anything so it is kind of interesting in that regard but guys we are gonna go ahead and wind off today's episode here on pvp club minecraft skyblock guys thank you all so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy it make sure you like and subscribe i will see you guys all in the next one here on the server and until then bye bye